What do you propose be done with the old Grace Hospital site, and how can the provincial government help? Well, with the, with the Grace site, um, you know, I grew up downtown. I drive by that site uh, quite often, and, and it needs to be cleaned up. Uh, there, there's no doubt about it. And we've already indicated that we will partner with the city. Our, our, our Minister of Finance, uh, Dwight Duncan, has indicated that uh, we will continue to work with the city to clean up that site. It is private property, so we need to go through the appropriate channels to ensure that it gets cleaned up. But I think we need to remember that uh, that, that really the priority there was the beds that was going that were going to be created at that site, and and those are going to be created. We are still responding to the needs of this community and to the families of this community. Okay, and actually, our next question is actually about long-term care for seniors and specifically those beds. Windsor historically has had a shortage of long-term care beds available in the community, but there are beds. If hospitals cannot charge seniors for charging for staying in hospitals when they no longer require hospital treatment. How do you propose we deal with overcapacity in hospitals? Well, you're right. In terms of the need for long-term beds locally, that's not a new issue. That's been an issue that's, that's been around for many years. In fact, back to when I was a child and, and my grandparents were in care. Yeah, this government has responded in terms of the beds. Look at all the new beds that have been created and, and more are going to be created. And that's how we're going to deal with it. There have also, also been many investments at the hospitals. To, to assist with, uh, with waiting times in various, for, for various procedures and to assist in people staying in their homes and providing support so that people don't have to stay in the hospital as long, but they can stay at home and they can get better at home and that the supports are there where they need it. Okay, excellent. And um, our third question is about construction on the Windsor-Essex Parkway. Now, construction has started, although we're waiting for Senate approval in Lansing on the new border crossing. How can provincial government at this stage of the process help ensure Windsorites that we aren't stuck with a road to nowhere? Construction has absolutely started on that road, and I love seeing all the trucks because that just means all the jobs are being created and more people are coming back to Windsor to work in Windsor. And that, that road is an important road. For years, we've been complaining about the trucks on here online and, and not being able to drive on that road because they, they take over it. That road is going to take the trucks off city roads, and that's, the, that's what's going to continue. We will continue to work with our government. We will continue to work with the federal government to ensure the second crossing is built. But at the same time, that road will continue because we, we must continue with the jobs and we must continue to get the trucks off our city roads. Our last question is, uh, during the financial meltdown of 2008, governments banded together to fund massive infrastructure projects and create jobs. With the economic uncertainty we see today, do we need more stimulus funding to maintain the fragile stability we have in our economy? The economic stimulus um, funds over the past few years have, have done wonders for Windsor, uh, as we see. And, and in fact, when you look throughout Ontario, Ontario has been able to establish itself as, as a province and Windsor as a community where jobs are being created and jobs are coming our way, either through economic stimulus or through other means. Um, I mean, Ontario has created more jobs than, than the country, than, than the United States mm -hmm. all put together. So we've, we've definitely created an attractive location and that's what investors are looking for when they're looking at job creation.